What is going on, heroes and villains? It's I, Zack's not dead. You, you don't believe me? There you go. Hmm? A little bigger? No. All right, anyway, uh, we've got a little bit of a thing to talk about today. There's an elephant in the room that I want to address. That elephant is a recent post on Reddit by a very credible leaker. Now, this has kind of gone big in the last 24 hours and has gone outside the scope of the community, so more than likely you've heard about this. Let me just start this off by saying I genuinely feel bad for the development team at NRS. I've felt bad for them since the release of this game. I made a video about six months ago when people were saying that Mortal Kombat 1 is dead. I said it was drowning because this and last year, make no mistake, NRS has been trying to play catch up and get the game where it should have been on release. All that good stuff that, that was free in Chaos Reigns, like the Towers of Time and no longer putting a cap on dragon crystals, things like that. Those should have been implemented in the game day one. They weren't able to do it until Chaos Reigns because they're constantly trying to play catch up. Any DLC character they drop, there's a myriad of bugs. There's infinites they have to worry about. We still don't have lobbies. We didn't have tag moves for like three months. We couldn't, um, we didn't have cross play for like six months. So there was a good amount of issues with Mortal Kombat 1. Let's bring up that tweet in question. Let's make our way through, make our way through. Also, let's, okay. Here's my post. Kind of was blowing up a little bit, but this is where it initially comes from. Fate Unknown. Not to be confused by that other fate person. Fate Unknown is a credible source of information that have been giving us kind of behind the scenes hey, this is going to be happening in the future sort of thing. Nobody believes them, but it always ends up happening. Uh, now, this is what Fate Unknown says. Combat Pack 3 and a second story expansion were planned. All canceled recently. No more characters after Combat Pack 2. Combat Pack 2 is what came out with Chaos Reigns. If you don't believe me, go look at their official website. It's not story expansion characters. It's Combat Pack 2. That's what it's called. It's just what it's called. And that is Sector, Cyrex, Noob Cybot, Ghostface, which we have now. Which, by the way, most of those characters are 50% off right now on the PlayStation Store. And individually. And then Conan and the T-1000, which we have yet to get. The current rumor is that Conan's going to be the next character coming. And then it'll be the T-1000, save for last. Um, and then we have somebody here that asked... Fate Unknown, thanks for the info. Any, on, any ideas why it was canceled? And then Fate Unknown says, Chaos Reigns sold poorly. Now, Fate Unknown actually came out with a second part. And we're going to go to I Scream FGC's page because they are pretty good about staying on top of it. Okay, here it is. This is it. This is titled The End, and this is by Fate Unknown. This is rather unfortunate in my opinion, but I'm going to read it all the way through, and then we'll talk about it right after. Okay, so, hello. You may, ha you may have seen recently I gave the news that MK1 DLC has been canceled. This has spread further than the MK community, and I do not want the attention, so I am stepping away from leaking. I was going to stay around until Conan and T-1000 were done, but I am going to end it now. I will not have info on future NRS games. This, to me, seems like somebody who's leaving the company, not just stopping the leaks. For my final post, here is further info about the canceled DLC. First, Chaos Reign sales were not the only reason there were multiple reasons the team was pushed the team was pushed by warner brothers to move on but the sales were just the big reason the nrs team really wanted to do the dlc and are not happy about it but they have no choice i feel like a lot of the members at nrs this is the first mortal kombat game they're ever working on and I feel like it just didn't hit. I truly feel like it just didn't hit. Okay, here they say, second, I do not know what the story stuff would have been. It didn't make it far enough for me to learn anything about details. Sorry. That should tell you alone that they were definitely still behind if they didn't even have the future DLC story kind of mapped out yet. 
third, the final combat pack was meant to be six characters, five Mortal Kombat characters, and one guess. Less guests due to a lot of reasons, but mostly as a thank you to MK fans for sticking with the game. You can't thank the fans for sticking with the game by charging them money. It just, you already ripped them off. Like, what? That doesn't make sense to me. But I get maybe in their fucking dumb, somebody's dumb, dumb brain and thought, yeah, we'll thank the fans that way. Or maybe it's the only way they could thank the fans because WB was like, no, more guests. And they actually fought against it to get Mortal Kombat characters in a Mortal Kombat game. And that's why they're like, this was for the fans because we actually fought for something. Uh, but on, I'm going to be honest, it really doesn't feel like we have anyone in our corner when it comes to the development of Mortal Kombat. There was a lot of radio silence throughout the development, and there's a myriad of issues throughout the game. The only time I ever saw stuff on social media is somebody was like, this person was racist to me, or this person talked down on, on marginalized people. And then they'd be like, we'll take care of that right away, which they should. There should be a report system anyway implemented into it. Uh, all right, third, the final combat pack was meant to be, okay, five and one guess. Less two, okay, fans sticking with, okay, the MK characters were Jade. I'm sorry, fuck Jade. She carried y'all through MK11. Uh, Cassie, I never really liked you since you were, like, for some reason, the Billy Badass of MKX. It didn't make sense to me. Um... Kung Jin, I really like that character. I love the design of that character, and I was sad when he wasn't in MK11. Sonya and Kano, they should have been in the damn game already. And it should and the Sonya there, that should be uh, the Carrie Sonya, the the lady we got the second time around. Voice and likeness, bring it on. I do not know the guests, but I'm told they wanted to get a highly requested guest character. That is all. Goodbye, everyone. Highly requested guest character, probably somebody like. I don't know, Doom Guy or Ghost, but not Ghostface. Excuse me, we already have Ghostface. Um, oh my God, what's his name? What's his name? Pennywise or somebody like that. You know what I mean? Like those are kind of common guest characters or Scooby Doo, um, uh, Shaggy. That would have been kind of funny. Um, anyway, uh, it ends with that is all. Goodbye, everyone. This is kind of sad. This is the end of an era. Fate unknown. Thank you for all that you've done. You have to be an insider. You have to be somebody that that sees our plight and gets it from our point of view. And you were you were coming out and you were giving us this information. But when it when it's information like this, it's gonna spread like wildfire, you know, especially when there's almost no communication from the actual development team. So we get somebody like you who's credible, we're gonna cling on to that sort of thing. So I do feel bad that they felt pressure to stop doing what they're doing. Maybe there's a lot of pressure within the dev team. Maybe WB was like, okay, who is it? Which one of you is it? And so now they're like, they're just they're just pissed and they're probably firing people. So I'm I'm just gonna quit and I'm not gonna have any more future information on NRS. That's my assumption of what's going on. But one can only assume, right? Don't take that as like, as, as gospel or whatever else. Um, a lot of people blame what's going on with the game on NRS. That's stupid. Don't do that. Blame it on WB. Any moment that NRS is in the development studio, that costs WB time or money. And because that costs WB money, the that NRS has to get approval to have people in the studio to correct things or to fix things or to develop things. And Ed Boon himself has come out in an interview with Hot Ones saying that it takes at least six months to get approval for some of the simplest things. And that was, and the question was, what do you miss about old games versus games now? And that was his answer. It takes at least six months leeway to get approval on ideas. That's awful. You're just hindering how good the game could be by creating these these multi-layered, multi-tiered approvals that do not benefit anybody. It just creates a job for some fat cat to get even fatter. I hate it. Um, the industry as a whole has kind of gone downhill, and we're seeing how bad it is uh, in, the, in the FGC now. Like, we really are. People talk about, well, Tekken has high price DLC. So if I, could, if I complain that a $10 voice announcer or a $10 skin is ridiculously overpriced, they go, well, Tekken has this or Street Fighter has this. And it's like, yeah, well, those are complete games. You cannot expect people 
who already feel ripped off from their initial purchase to fork up premium cash prices uh, for some of this stuff. You just can't you just can't do it. All right. NRS, I feel bad for uh, the development team over there. I don't feel bad for WB. I feel bad for us as a community because WB has said recently that they're going to focus on their four major IPs. And what that really means is that they're going to focus on milking these IPs for everything they have because they didn't build these IPs. These were IPs built off the hard work of other people. And now that WBD has it, they are just going to milk the shit out of it. They're going to put as little money into it and expect maximum results. They're going to put premium prices with minimal effort. And when it doesn't yield them back everything they want, they're going to end up selling it off after tarnishing the brand. Because what do they have to lose? WB in itself, WBD, is, is going through like multiple lawsuits as we speak. They just got done suing uh, ESPN. I or the NBA. I just genuinely, I have no faith in WB anymore. Uh, WB, as I, when I was growing up, was huge. Like the Arkham games were massive. They were a super huge development team that people saw that WB logo and they were like, "This is about to, this is about to be the game I'm playing, bro, for the next month. This is, I'm locked in. You know what I mean?" And W after WBD, I see it as opposite. I see the WB logo, and I assume that little effort was put in, and they're charging me as much as they possibly can. And it, and that's just the facts of the matter. Uh, if if you blame NRS, I think you're you're barking up the wrong tree. I feel bad for NRS for so many reasons. These people are being used as a shield for WB's nefarious practices. I, it's, uh, it's awful. Don't go after NRS. Go after WB. Tell their investors how bad this game is. That, that's when you're, you'll start seeing actual changes. Uh, but unfortunately, I think that we're in for another milk fest. I would love to think that WB learned its lesson, but it didn't after Suicide Squad, right? It didn't after it ruined multiverses. So I just, I have very little faith in Mortal Kombat. Uh, under the helm of WB. I, I do hope that one day WB will sell off Mortal Kombat and it will be a better game for it. By that time, I'll be too old to be really good at the game and I'll, I'll hope there's a whole bunch of side modes and single-player content and good lore. We need good lore. A lot of people were attracted to Mortal Kombat not because of the gameplay because I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big fan of the classic game's gameplay. It's very stand there and <laughs> it doesn't feel awesome. Like it just, it doesn't feel that great, but it was very popular and uh, the lore had a lot to do with it. And I feel like lately this multiverse thing, this time travel thing, it's awful. It genuinely is awful. You need to go back to the grounded stuff. You need to go back to tournaments. You need to go back to listening to the fans. You need to go back to giving the development studio actual say-so over their own baby and their own project. We need to have passion back into it, not prices, all right? Put passion into these projects. Put passionate people into these projects. There's a lot of junior development people making their first game ever with Mortal Kombat 1. And I feel like recently they started adding on more institutional knowledge. They started hiring other people that have been in the industry for a while. And honestly, it's benefited the game. Uh, genuinely, right now, Mortal Kombat 1 is in a much better place than it was. I would hate it way less if the game released day one with the Towers of Time, with the cross-play, with the tag moves that it has today. But it didn't, and it took a long time to get that stuff. So uh, a lot of people were burned out. And now we're regurgitating seasons. That pisses people off. But like I said, this is all on WB minimizing their costs. Studio time costs WB money. They're not going to approve studio time to make the game better unless they can see dollar signs behind it. It's up to W or it's up to NRS to convince WB to do certain things. But WB right now is WBD. This it's just awful. I truly hope they sell it one day. Anyway, um, all this stuff started blowing up. It's It's gone kind of crazy. It's not my favorite thing in the world to talk about the downfall of a Mortal Kombat game. 
Uh, but I was getting tagged a lot, and a lot of people were like, "Bro, I know you're happy about this," and I'm I'm happy that a lot of people feel the same way I do. I'm not happy that Mortal Kombat is is possibly potentially more than likely uh, going to be shelved. Um, now, likely they're just going to create a new game because why? New games make millions more than DLC does, so that's likely why WB is pushing. NRS to just end MK1, come out with a new game so they can milk that one, and then they'll probably sell it. That's my guess. It, because they probably won't let NRS do what NRS needs to do to actually make a good game again. Uh, WBD has no... They have no right. They have no reason. Um, they have no idea what they're doing with the gaming division. It's gross it's gross they call triple a games volatile i'm sorry wb you are what's volatile your business practices are what's volatile anyway i've got to get ready to stream so we're going to end it uh after i play this little video it's a compilation of people uh talking negatively about mortal kombat 1 uh, with a little ending clip but yeah i'll leave y'all to that uh, I've got a stream today. We stream five days a week. That's Wednesday to Sunday. And if you want to fight me in Mortal Kombat, you can find me on Thursday Throwdowns or Throwdown Thursdays and Fight Night Fridays. We fight on both those days. If you want to fight me, come fight me, bro. You want to tell me I'm just MK1's the best Mortal Kombat game ever and I'm just trash at it? Prove it to me, bro. Prove it to me. All right, anyway, that's it. I'm out. Have a great day. Like I said, my name's Zach's Not Dead. If you like the video, please do like it. It just makes me feel like I don't know, better <laughs> in life. I hate that I see a little thumbs up and a number next to it, and that's what validates my existence, but that's where I'm at in life. All right, peace of the peace, peace. Enjoy this video. A lot of people have already online, and let's pull it up. Should we, should we give WB a round of applause? All right, peace to the peace, peace, people. I'm out. For essentially killing the future of all we love. Connection issues a lack of content, bad customization, and no game modes. Uh, I, I think I might just take a, a brief step away from Mortal Kombat. And the worst microtransaction tactics of any NetherRealm game in history. Thousand crystals for his boys. Ten dollars, dude. Ten dollars. Mortal Kombat has no future. Being live service when they have a track record of none of it actually working for them. Mortal Kombat 1 probably had the worst launch out of any NRS game in history. The problems of this game are pretty obvious. Like, just playing it is kind of rough. Uh, about a hundred of these equals a dollar. And yeah, you better believe it. That's a twelve dollar fatality. Because if you bought it, you're destroying Mortal Kombat. Vote with your wallet. MK9 to MKX to MK11 always felt like significant steps forward. This is the first time when they just had no more ideas. Caters to scrubs, bro. I'm sorry. If I'm being honest, this game just really caters to scrubs. Like, it's just like a <laughs> hold my hand ass type of... It's a pay to win game. It's literally a pay to win game. Mortal Kombat 1 is impossible to go without noticing it. But then they just float in the air and still track to the lifeless body below them. So there's no mini games whatsoever. There's no incentive for me to boot this up like I would with my friends back in the day. I guess you could say I'm done with the game. Are you serious? Since the launch, we haven't got any transparency or communication. We got all these microtransactions. The lack of accountability or a reluctance to address the issues head on. And I'll be completely honest with you. It has been the most annoying thing to deal with. Get what you get! Get what you fucking deserve! <laughs>